Hey guys, and welcome to the headlight restoration system. So today we're gonna to be teaching you how to restore your headlights. Now, restoring headlights is pretty easy. It's a step-by-step -step process, and it pretty much is universal, meaning you do the same steps for just about every headlight. Uh, now, normal headlight restoration, uh, outside of any other consumer gimmick brands, this headlight restoration system actually does last up to 12 months or longer uh, for garage kept vehicles. Now, the importance of the headlight restoration is what we're doing just to kind of go in and, and dive a little bit deeper into it. We are removing the oxidized plastic from the outer layer of the actual headlight. And then from there, we go and we polish, you know, and we correct the headlight and then we put a ceramic sealant over it. Now, the ceramic sealant actually is the key to getting that 12 month protection. A lot of these gimmicky um, detailers and other system guys, they're going to do the headlight restoration, maybe even doing some wet sanding, doing some polishing, but they're not going to put an appropriate sealing. It might be like a, a paint sealant or wax, and those are very temporary. They're not going to be nearly as hard as that ceramic coating. And they don't last nearly as long. So the way that we're going to teach you is the way that we do it over here at Next Level Detailing. And in our opinion, that's the pro way. So without further ado, I'm going to point you over here, and we have all the chemicals that you're and supplies that you're going to need. So just take a moment, you can either pause the video, uh, just kind of get all that stuff down, uh, and then we'll get started with it. All right, cool. Now that you've taken your time to go ahead and get that pause, get that all written down, you got all your supplies, let's get into the headlight restoration process. Hey guys, and welcome to step number one. So today we are going to be doing the cleaning and prep process. This is for a headlight restoration. And you're going to start with using your isopropyl alcohol or solvent-based cleaner. And you're going to clean off the headlight and the area around it. So just dab a little bit on there. Don't need too much. With the wet side, you're going to go over it. You can see it's already starting to clear the headlight up a little bit. It's only temporary. We're going to have to still seal over that. I go around all the areas around the headlight. Then I fold the towel and I dry it off. After that, we can begin taping the entire area. You wanna tape all the way around the headlight and kinda of get under the lip of the headlight, leaving a little bit of tape just to overlap the metal. That way you can use it for tucking, bending, or kinda of fitting right under that headlight. And you might have to break off a few pieces. Just kind of measuring a little bit. And this process usually takes eh, typically about a minute, but it can save you loads of time now, the tape is actually a protectant against any of the wet sanding so that way that sandpaper doesn't actually hit that paint so I'm just finishing up on the side of this headlight there you have it that's how you clean and prep your headlights Make sure when you're done, you just kind of go over and you fold your thumb around that little lip. Just pushing any tape and bubbles around. It should look something like that. Hey guys, and welcome to step number two, wet sanding phase. So for this phase, we are going to need our three different types of sandpaper. I like to use a 1500, a 2000, and a 3000 grit. 1500 is gonna be the coarsest and 3000 is gonna be the finest. You're also gonna need a spray bottle with water as well as your ceramic sponge. You can use that to just wrap your sandpaper around and make it as a good, easy buff block. So now that we got that, we're gonna spray down we're starting with the 1500. Now the 1500, you wanna scrape it for about, I'd say 15 to 30 seconds in straight lines. Now 
Make sure you're keeping your headlight wet. So what this is actually doing is removing the oxidized plastic. And with the 1500, it's doing a lot of work really fast. So now that we got that done, we're going to switch over to the 2000. So this is a 2000 grit. It's going to be a little bit finer than the 1500. So there you can do a little bit more scratching away at that oxidized plastic. Now the reason why we don't scrape too much with 1500 is you don't want to leave too many big rough deep lines in your headlights. So clean off the plastic and we're going to get it wet again. Starting off with that 2000. Now 2000 you can go in smaller little slight circles. I like to go in like an oval shape. Making sure to hit all those edges and around that headlight. Keep your surface wet. And you can see the headlights already starting to clear up. So I'm spending about 30, 45 seconds here before I clean it off. And we move on to the 3000 grit. Get your 3000 grit, you wrap it around your block. Always remember to re wet your surface before you put that sandpaper on there. All right, now I'm going in small, fast circles with the 3000 grit. This is going to help reduce any of those long, straight lines that we put in there with the 1500. Giving that headlight a nice, flat, smooth surface. Rule of thumb, I usually do this for about 45 seconds to maybe a minute. The finer the grit, the more time you want to spend. Keeping that surface wet. All right, now let's clean that off. And we're all done with the wet sanding phase. All right, guys, step number three, the buff phase. You're going to need your dual action buffer with your medium grit buff pad. I'm using a waffle pad. Waffle pads are good for contouring, getting around those grooves and those edges. You're going to use your compounding polish and your finer polish. The compound is what we're going to start with. That's going to have a little bit of grit in it. And what that grit's going to do is help sand down those sanding lines that we did with the wet sanding phase. So now we've got that on there. You're going to want to spread it around with your buffer before you turn the buffer on. And that way you don't have it spraying across the car. So kind of smear it in there. Turn that bad boy on. I like to keep my buffer on a four setting. Now dual action buffers, it might take a little longer than a rotary, but it's much safer. Rotary buffers can cause swirling and burning to the plastic. We don't want that. Just kind of contouring around those edges. All right, we're done with the compound. We're going to wipe it off. Now we're going to buff in the finer polish. It's just going to help glaze over any areas that the compounds might have missed and give it that nice smooth finish. Work that in there. Keeping the buffer on the four setting still. And that sums up step three. All right, guys, final step. Let's clean off any of the existing polish with some alcohol or solvent base cleaner. Then you're gonna go over that, dry it off with a microfiber towel. So this is just a quick little prep that we're going to do right before we put on the ceramic sealant. Now you're going to use your ceramic sponge as well as your ceramic sealant to apply the sealant directly on 
to the headlight. It's just a few dabs, you don't need too much. And we're gonna apply it in cross hatching. That means going horizontal, side to side, and then vertical, up and down. Once you've crossed hatched the ceramic sealant on it, make sure you get around those edges. You're gonna let it sit for about, I'd say 10 seconds. The ceramic sealant starts to harden pretty fast. You're gonna take your microfiber towel, you're just gonna kind of buff over that, taking off any of those high and low marks. And then here, there you have it. It is gonna need another 24 hours to cure, but that sealant should last for well over 12 months. And once you're all done with that, you can start to remove the tape. Now this tape does leave a little residual adhesive sometimes. That's a simple fix. You're just gonna use your solvent or alcohol-based cleaner. Just go over those edges. Try not to hit the headlight too much as it is still curing. Go over all that with the microfiber towel. And maybe go over your headlight one more time just to make sure any loose debris aren't on it. And there you go. Now the big benefits of a ceramic coating is it's actually a thin glass coating that you're putting on. Uh, and it's going to lock in all that work that we just did. So your headlights aren't going to look like that. Thanks for watching.